the most important thing for me is like when I do my um, my practice, uh, I'm aware that this is a performance art. Historically, um, it is something that is uh, going across the border of performing arts, and it is also across the border of the visual arts. So there is, uh, of course, like in the European history, is something in between uh, both practices and the. Uh, so-called unestablished um, position of, of the performance art practice is something that I think uh, it's, not, it's not only challenging, but it is uh, also a good luck. And I think uh, a good side of, his, of it is that uh, there is nothing that is really um, determined. And something that is not really determined is something that is potentially developed in a in a in the in the bigger in the bigger area. So I think uh, I'm not talking too much about the the the, uh, uh, the position of performance art, but uh, but uh, from my experience, what I have seen actually, um, it is mostly uh, run under the marginal uh, marginal area, and it's of course it's financially uh, mostly less funded and less supported because it has no, um, in the market there is no position. And you cannot sell anything, um, mostly in, a, in the visual art market. And, you, it's, and it's not really in the, in the performing arts category. You know, like if you go to the performing arts um, uh, festivals and uh, it's something that is not really on a stage, it's not uh, following the, the con conventional uh, system of uh, stage management or something like that. So, um, of course, it's not something that is uh, um, comfortable for, for, um, for the economical life of uh, performance artists, but there is a quality that keeps us um, uh, Sticking together to do to remain to remain in this area. Yeah, probably you remember the the idea of the uh, in the Western history of art. There is like a tableau vivant, and like you um, you are using your body and you um, uh, um, what is uh, I, I, not imitate imitate uh, life life action. But it is not a theater. It's a it was a game. Um, I think it was in the in the 16th centuries or 15th centuries. And uh, in the, in the early 60s or 70s, I think there there were this kind of the tableau vivant uh, uh, were used in the in the long durational performance art. And then the in the 70s, where the the feminist uh, artists uh, uh, in New York they start to do this long durational performance, they they tend to 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 give a, a pressure of a one act, a one uh, action that uh, to give time for the public to uh, to receive the actual action by the time. So it's not uh, like something that is very, just a short time temporary, but there's something that is repeatedly, visually, uh, need some space or some time to be transported into the, uh, the perception rooms of the public. So I think, uh, but still, it is just one time. It's, you, you never, if, like for example, if I repeat uh, the butter dance uh, like 20 or 24 times now, every time is different. And for me, it's different experience. And for the audience, of course, also different. Those who have been seeing this for several times, also every time they've, they've experienced differently. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, I think the, the, the most important thing of the live performance Art, what or being uh, witnessing a uh, performance art is like being there with the artist at the same place, at the same space, at the same time, and to receive the 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 actual energy what is coming up at that time, and that is the temporary uh, situation, um, and that is the I think that the most purest. Uh, uh, transportation or tra not the transformation, but it's like the um, uh, the most purest dialogue of uh, of the energy um, 
the body at the same time as the object and the subject of the subject matters. So it's, it's, it's a really a direct encounters with the public. I never thought about uh, uh, being a kind of a representative of a female voice or in the, um, um, like, or, you know, like intentionally um, representing a feminist issue. But um, I was more interested into the body, uh, like the femininity, like the contradiction between uh, the, the ideal of the beauty and uh, the fact that, um, that I'm not, you know, like, uh, I'm not a dancer. Um, I don't have like a dancer body. Uh, but I was trained as a dancer since I was a child. Um, that the life, the, 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 the physical uh, conditions of a woman, is, is of a, any human being is changed through age and through um, the life situations and whatever. And, uh, <clears throat> but uh, th this work was very important for me to, to catch the, the life experience that um, there, there has been a, always a struggle to, to, to move on, to move on, you know, and then there always been a surprise that we fall down. Although we know that oh, no matter where, where uh, we are prepared, whenever we are prepared, but we never know the moment when you fall down. And so the falling down is, uh, I never know when I fall down. I know that I'm, if I step, everybody knows, a child knows, uh, uh, if you, whenever you step on a slippery thing, on a butter, you're gonna fall. Uh, but uh, there is like a resistance, um, uh, which is a decision like to stand and to dance on it. And that, that keeps, uh, something is moving. And uh, the, the title of the work is an exergy. Exergy is uh, like a potential of the be becoming an energy. So when, uh, when the, the physical uh, f um, uh, constellation mix between the, the several elements of, uh, of potential become an explosion. And uh, it, it, it just this tiny process of the physic, uh, how do you, physic uh, process is, is, is called exergy. So when the, 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 the elements move together and then before it gets exploded, it, it's the exergy. And uh, the explosion can be an energy, it's called energy. But um, these potential uh, things, you, you never know what the mixtures are in life. You, you can plan, you can plan, you, I want to dance, I want to be beautiful, I want, but you, you know, I want this, I want this, I want this in my life, and I, this is my life like that too. Like I, wa I was wanting too much, I'm, I'm still wanting too much from life. And, uh, I know that I'm gonna. I'm risking my life every time I step on the outside my house, or every every time I step uh, my foot somewhere. I, I'm risking, and the risk is always close to us. And uh, this is, I think, this is very close uh, to the very uh, sensitive human uh, gestures or hu human uh, feeling that. Uh, when you fall, you, you imagine uh, the pain, you know, like, ah, you, you experience how, how painful it is when you fall down since, since you were a child. Yeah, so these memories of pain is becoming like a reference of, uh, of a, the idea of a pain uh, in the public perceptions. So this is uh, like probably the language that is transported to the, ba the butter dance, that uh, the shock. Anytime you, you fall down, ah, you, sh you, 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 you get surprised yourself when you fall down or when you slip. And uh, every time you slip down, you, you still repeat the, the same uh, reaction, uh, chemical reaction in your body. And it is not only chemical reaction, it's not only physical reaction, it is psychologically. Because you have the idea of the pain. We are trained to understand what is pain. If nobody, if somebody told, has told you that when you fall down, it's not pain, it's fun, then you probably, you know, culturally you learn uh, that when you fall down, it's not pain, it's fun. You know, it, it's just a language. So um, I think uh, that, that's, uh, that's the one uh, important thing on, on this butter dance that, uh, that become a, 
you know, like this, um, the unspoken language about the, the risk and the pain and uh, the reality. And uh, everybody has their own experience of pain. So, and um, it's not about the women only, it's not about the fem uh, female phenomenon, but I'm representing, of course, my, my being female, I'm like, I'm maybe I'm, you know, like more femininity instead of the feminism. The history of uh, of uh, in, in the art world is not only made is not only created of, uh, by the the artist itself mostly. It's created also by the expulsion by uh, from the the art critics and uh, from the market and. Um, I feel the performance art area. Um, we we are uh, we lack. Uh, there is a lack of a, of a critical support. There is a lack of education. There is a lack of uh, spaces that that um, that uh, support uh, good uh, qualified uh, performance arts artworks and. Um, and nowadays, I think um, the, the the marginal uh, area of the festival performance art festival, which is around the world, really uh, with a very minimum budget, the artists are not paid, and so on. I think it's uh, it needs uh, some uh, infrastructure that is uh, start that started from the education area, from the academical area. I'm a bit uh, sad about the situation, for example, in, in Europe, uh, like for example, I studied with Marina Abramovich. That was a good time that uh, the art school provide uh, like um, uh, a class of a performance art with, a, with a Abramovich as a teacher. And that was like probably the, the first and the last, which uh, the, the Ministry of uh, of uh, education in Germany, okay, you are, uh, it gives a title to, to Marina Abramovich, you are a, a professor for performance art. It was like, I know because I was her assistant, it was like almost three years struggle to get this title from officially from the uh, Ministry of uh, Education in Germany. So this is something that I've been questioning myself, why the performance art uh, has been existing uh, in the 70s, in the 80s, and then it it fades out. They, the the development of the performance arts can only are used uh, like like uh, taken like in the music video, in the in the photography, in the advertising. You know, it, it's never really remain into the the aesthetic or the, the the value of of the performance art itself. So the performativity of the performance artworks are taken to be the elements of other media. So um, like, it's not like uh, the video, uh, video art or, or you know, like the experimental video or experimental film area. They somehow more established in the, in the critics. They have more position, but the performance art is a little bit difficult. Little, there have been so, I've seen so many uh, very good performance artists, artists who have been doing like over 30 years and uh, never really mentioned into the, uh, into the art history, but they have a very big influence into the younger generation, including my generation. They are, they're only around in the festival. And um, this is something that is probably uh, becoming a, a serious question. And uh, yeah, that's all, that's what I'm concerned about. That's why I'm doing the, a kind of a laboratory for performance art where performance artists, a professional performance artists uh, from all, all over the world meet in, in, uh, once in a year um, for one week to 10 days and just to, to exchange uh, the method of, of their practices and document it and archive it and, and, and do it uh, uh, like, like, a, like a research. Yeah.